Hello everybody and welcome to another video where today we are going to be checking out the differences between having DLSS on and DLSS off in the following games, Dying Light 2, Minecraft, and Red Dead Redemption 2. And we're going to see how they impact performance and visuals. And I highly recommend installing a program called DLSS Swapper. Now, with all of with most of these games, you can swap them DLSS manually, but it allows you to update the files so that you have the clearest visuals. For Minecraft, it is a very complicated process, and I have not done it, so you will see the most recent DLSS versions in Red Dead 2 and Dying Light 2, and you will see an older 2.1 version, I believe, in Minecraft. So, let's head into that. Okay, so now we have our first game on the list today, and... It is Dying Light 2. Now right now I have, if you look, I have, let me see, mostly max aside from settings that do not do anything, but you know what, just for y'all, I'll max them out, anyways, just to show you. This is unimportant as we will have DLSL, that's off and on, but, so, yeah. So, these are all our settings, have these off, but I'll turn them on for y'all. Save. Okay, and y'all should be able to see my frame rate if I look down. The zombies Ready? is starting. Okay, let's go. So, as you can see, 31, 32. So, it's, con so that it's constantly at around 30 FPS. So, if you have DLSS off, it's I'd recommend locking your frame rate to 30 with, for this game with a 3060. And but why would you play with that? Never. You can just go into settings and enable DLSS. Get the sharpness to whatever num value you want, and watch that value go up. It's nearly doubled our FPS, and it looks pretty much the same. Here. I'll do a comparison shot. So, as I said, yep, this is Minecraft, and I have found a beautiful seed for us to check out, as well as the ray tracing in DLSS. So, as you can see right now, I have no upscaling on. You can see pretty far. I will actually, in fact, grab a spyglass so you can see further. So, as you can see, beautiful houses and such so much down there right and it's all visible and is not too blurry okay now we're gonna go into settings and we're gonna turn on DLSS upscaling and I just want you guys to see the difference in performance up in the top corner so as you can see it went down from 40s to 80s okay guys I just wanted to say something here I'm looking at this in my editor right for like title presets and one of them is asking how well does Midas's touch work in chapter 3 and there is no way that that's some generic thing that Fillmore thought of somebody put that there there's no way chapter 3 would be referring to anything other than that one game which has Ninja Turtles and Kratos. So, for more designers, what are you on? Why is that there? Please tell me. I'm scared to use your platform now. Well, anyways, back to your video. I'm sorry for stealing you. The game is much smoother now. And even though this is using an older DLSS version, it is still beautiful. As you can see, it's a little bit more blurry down there. But that is a great trade off. And as you can see, the mountain ranges. The greens are kind of flickering. But it works. And it, I think it looks great. And it's really only playable if you have this. Okay, my frames are dropping because I have way higher 
run distance than I should, but yeah, as you can see, it's beautiful. And now we will do a comparison shot of the mountain ranges behind me with the LSS on and off. And as you all could see, that was a pretty, like, they looked pretty similar in a drastic change in FPS. So now we're going to move on to our next game, which is Red Dead Redemption 2. Now we are on to Red Dead Redemption 2. Now, right now I have high settings and pretty much everything. Here are my normal you know, display settings as well as my graphic settings and my advanced graphic settings but this isn't what you're here for you're here for the difference in frame rates between DLSS and not so right now we do not have DLSS on and the game is running at a stable 84 FPS which is actually quite high so taking the surroundings taking the foliage I do not have anti-aliasing on as it sucks, but, democracy. and look at the background, the and now we will move on to, okay, I have turned off closed caption so you can fully tell the differences from our next shots, so I will scroll down and I will enable DLSS, and put it on quality, and put the sharpening there, confirm those settings, and now we will exit back out into the area. The right so as you can see, as as our frame rates have not jumped because this game is well optimized. But as you can see, the foliage looks less jittery and it has less shimmering. Right? Arthur's hat looks more like a hat instead of a pixelated mess. And everything looks more smoothed out. And it's not as blurry as the and this is using a uh, DLSS 3.7, which the base version this game comes with is some version of, like a way early version, like 2.1. So take it in, and now we will do a comparison shot between off and on. And those are our comparison shots, and I'm not going to try and record something else other than Red Dead How because I'm tired of opening and closing games. So, if you guys enjoyed that video and would like to see more like it and other gaming related content on this channel, be sure to like and subscribe, and so you don't miss another video, and I will be putting up community polls under the community tab on what topic you guys would like me to cover next, whether it be playing a certain game or checking out more technical stuff like this. But as always, bye, don't forget to subscribe.